fun at the STEM sphere, and they had a ton and ton and tons of really cool exhibits. So I'm going to tell you about some of my favorites. So the first one is Minecraft Coding with Deep Space, which uses the mod ComputerCraft. And ComputerCraft is a mod which, surprisingly, adds computers into Minecraft. And you learn coding on those computers in Minecraft, so your Minecraft character, mine was a rainbow umbreon for some reason, is learning coding through Minecraft. And it was really cool, and they showed me how to do the Hello World, and it would show up on the computer monitor. The next thing we saw is the 3D pen. The 3D pen was really cool. It is kind of a 3D printer pen where you draw all in 3D and stuff. But I had a lot of trouble trying to make it go up. So I, but I made it, I managed to make a thing go up like that. And then we saw the logic game, which was really, really hard, but really, really fun. I don't know where I can find this, but it was really amazing and really fun. And I spent most of the day thinking about what my moves are, are going to be if I find it again. It's really fun. What you're trying to do is transport a tower from one pole to the other. But the, but the twist is you can only move the top block of the tower and and the smallest and big blocks cannot be placed on small blocks. Like the bottom block cannot be placed on the top block or the second top block. So if the block is bigger than the block, it, then the block it can't be placed on top of it, and you can only move the top block. It, it's really complicated, and I think if you make every move perfectly, then it only it takes 31 moves. And if and I got around 42 moves, and so it was really fun, and I want to find this game somewhere so I can play it over and over and over and try and get 31 moves. So next thing we saw is the cool science who played with superconductors and really really cold magnets and made an actual hover hovering hoverboardy thing. It's a really 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 cold superconductor on a magnet and it hovers. And you can move it and it'll stay hovering. Like you can push down on it and it'll still hover. You can push it sideways, it'll still hover. But I actually got like a burn from it because it was so cold when I tried to move it. So. It was one of the coolest things we saw. It was one of the coolest things at the science fair. And I am really excited to see more from them. The next thing we saw was Sphero, which is a little robot controlled by your iPod, iPhone, iPad. Your device with an app store, iOS or Android. You can download the app, buy the Sphero, and you can control the little Sphero, and you can play virtual reality games, you can just kind of move it around. You can do a kind of really cool stuff, and I really want one for Christmas. I need one. <laughs> and the next thing we saw was this architecture -y place, where my dad built a really, really, really cool towery thing. Um, so you have these little building jingy blocks things. They're not actually jingle blocks. They're something like jingle blocks. And you have freedom to build whatever sculpture or structure thing you want. And my dad made a really, really cool one. I kind of made a jingle towery thing. And they have also have little sheets which talked about cantilevering and a lot of other really cool architecture stuff. I think Annabeth would love it there. And then there is a place where you got to catch a cloud with a bubble. And I think there's dry ice at the bottom of water. And you use soap and you make a bubble where you capture the dry ice. I'm totally trying that next time I get dry ice. And then we played with the cubelets, which are little robots that you get to create out of little cubes. Kind of like building a robot in Minecraft. And it's really fun. There's lots of different sensors and there's wheels and there's batteries and your robot can and it, it's just really cool and i also kind of want one of those for this one. next was a really cool anatomy place where you had a skeleton plastic hand and you would use clay to make some muscles on the hand which was really cool and entertaining because i like to play with clay and last but not least was the plants area where you get to make like a newspaper pot with some of your plant with some plants in it. I personally got some basil, but there's lots of different different stuff you could you could have gotten there and it was really cool because
because I always love where you are, go to like these make your own plants areas where you get to make make plant some plants and take them home and then plant them in the garden or plant them in a bigger pot and move them inside and stuff. It's really fun. And they also had a fish tank where the fish and the plant actually had a symbiotic re relationship. The, fi the fish would rep would produce nutrients or fish waste, and the fish waste would be the and then there's a pump which would take the fish waste out, put it in the plant. That is the nutrients, and and that and then the plant uses that as nutrients and pumps clean water back down and pumps the clean water without the waste back down into the fish tank. So they have a pretty symbiotic relationship where um, the fish gets the nut the fish gets clean water from the plant, and the pl and the plant gets nutrients from the fish. So that was our time at a stemosphere at University of Denver. We had a ton of fun and we met some people that we might like to bring out to, to show our homeschool group some cool science. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!